Why is big oil making more money than ever? In 2022, ExxonMobil shattered the Western oil industry's all-time profit record by bringing in $56 billion. That's roughly $6.3 million every single hour. And competitors Shell and BP weren't far behind with almost $40 billion and $27.7 billion, respectively. As the world increasingly looks to sustainable energy to help mitigate the climate crisis, Fossil fuel giants are somehow still raking in billions and billions of dollars. But at least they promise to invest their profits in low carbon initiatives. So everything is fine, right? Right? Well, no. They talk a big game, but in reality, they're offering a pittance compared to their ill-gotten gains. Exxon, for example, has pledged to invest $17 billion in lower emission initiatives through 2027. That translates to about $2.8 billion a year, or a measly 5% of the company record profits, while it's simultaneously planning to increase its oil and gas production to historic levels. Meanwhile, BP has actually lowered its climate goals. The company once promised to help lower carbon emissions by reducing its output of oil and gas by 35 to 40 percent by the end of the decade. But it recently announced, right after posting its own record annual profits, that its target range had changed to 20 to 30 percent. But how did these companies make that much money in the first place? One of the biggest factors in these record profits is Russia's war against Ukraine, which caused energy prices to soar, and that profit is going directly into the pockets of oil companies and their shareholders in the form of dividends and and stock buybacks. In order to claw back some of these surplus profits, the United Kingdom and the European Union have both imposed what is called a windfall tax on oil companies. It's a temporary hike in rates to prevent these companies from profiting heavily from war, pollution, and well, overall global chaos. Whether it's a good or bad idea, windfall taxes are just a drop in the bucket, especially because the US government has yet to impose a similar tax. The truth is, fossil fuel companies have devastated Earth's atmosphere and helped put us in a global climate crisis, and they're not even willing to do the bare minimum to atone for their actions. And if big oil isn't going to pay for their fair share to make things right, it's up to the governments to make sure that their profits go toward creating a more sustainable future.